Alrighty, I got you guys perched on a nice little rock. Ready to rock for this video here. Let me turn you guys just slightly. But in today's video, we're actually going to be taking the tomato plants. Ooh, ah, all the different varieties I'm going to grow this year. Mostly heirlooms, if you want to know what varieties I'm going to grow. We did a whole video on that. Um, so go back and check that out. It's kind of titled my garden plans for 2019 or something like that. Or it's in the spreadsheet down in the description below. But today, because we have such large tomato plants, uh, we started them so early as a lot of you guys like to abundantly let me know. <laughs> this is the orange banana variety here. It's a paste tomato. That's actually orange. It makes really good tomato sauce. Um, you can tell that this plant actually is root bound because we have roots coming out the bottom. There's also some coming out the side here. Uh, that's what I really like about these cow pots is that if we wanted to just plant this in the soil, we could. We don't have to take this off, although I think it's recommended and I think, I think we will. Is we're going to take off the top little bits here of it. And uh, that will degrade in the soil, just like that. And if we were to just stick this here in the pot, like we will, um, this will eventually degrade and the roots are already growing through it. In addition, this bag here, these root pouches that I pick up from Greenhouse Megastore, they're half gallon size root, uh, two liters, which is a half gallon size pot. They're very inexpensive. Even cheaper, I think, than the cow pots. Um, and I can just fill this up with some soil. And when this thing now gets close to root bound in this bag, I can then transplant this into the soil. And the whole goal this year is to actually lay them down flat. We're gonna get as strong of root systems that we can because we're gonna be um, actually planting them quite deep, probably up to this leaf here. Because uh, if I stick this in the bag, you guys can see just how high that goes, right up to this, right below that leaf. So what will happen is along this stem, sorry there tomato plant, but along this stem we'll form all kinds of roots. We'll get a super strong tomato plant. And pretty much all the naysayers saying that uh, this won't be stronger than if I had either direct seeded it or had started a bit later in the season because we started these very early. There's no denying that. But this is the plan and this is exactly how it's going to work. Now, what I could do, I think I was getting to that, was that I could then plant this bag in the soil if I wanted to and this would eventually degrade. But I'm not sure if I'm going to do that. Um, we may end up just cutting the bags, giving, them, giving the root zones of these plants at least the place to go. That if this bag, for whatever reason, doesn't degrade very quickly, at least there's an escape option for them. And then we're just going to put them all in this bin, and they're going to hang out inside for another, um, I don't know, another bit of time. <laughs> what am I saying? They're going to hang out, because uh, today's March 10th. To, uh, this morning was daylight savings time. Um, they're going to hang out inside um, sometime around mid-April. And then sometime around mid-April, we're going to start hardening these guys off to the outdoor environment. We'll give it about a week or two. Um, I imagine that in that time, really just a month's worth of growth, this tomato plant will probably root itself very well in here will almost double in size what it is now. Um, we'll have a pretty thick stem and I'm not really worried about the stem as some people have also pointed out to me because we're going to plant it sideways. We're going to dig a trench and plant this sideways and then this will be pointed up towards the ground. And then this will be the single stem shoot that we train our tomato plants. We train them vertically as single stem plants um, without a doubt, my experience has led to believe that that is a superior method. And that's really all we're doing right now. That's literally it. Uh, this is a new tomato plant. 
I don't need to get crazy with the soil. We're gonna remember to stick that tag, orange banana, in here because we wanna keep track of what varieties they are as the season goes on. I have all these heirloom tomatoes recommended by Amy Goldman in her book, The Heirloom Tomato, I think it's called. So that's really what we're basing a lot of this off of this year uh, in terms of variety selection. And we're just gonna keep doing this. Let's do one more. So there's no more questions, or there is no questions. And people can understand what's going on here. We've got two more varieties in here. This one's way more root bound. Look at that. This is al alpaca. This is another sauce tomato, paste tomato. Um, we're really going to take growing tomatoes for sauce very seriously this year. Prior years we have tried, but in the end it wasn't really my priority. But after tasting my own sauce from heirloom tomatoes that were beef steaks, not even, um, not even tomatoes that were for sauce, it was so flavorful I could not believe it. So that's what we're going to do this year is grow about six, six tomato plants specifically for sauce. And I think there's going to be a total of uh, three varieties. Actually, I think it's five tomato plants. <laughs> five tomato plants, guys. Um, no, five tomato plants and three varieties, and that'll be it. And notice I'm using the soil from outside because I'm out of soil. Um, it's late. It's too early in the season, really, to get the soil that I like to use for all of my potted plants, which is the Just Natural soil conditioner. That stuff is the greatest. I really wish that company would reach out to me and want me to sponsor them because I really do believe in that product as uh, a potted soil conditioner. I use it for just about everything. And then um, that's pretty much it. But you can see, what was I even getting into just now? <laughs> we're getting old, guys. We're, uh, we're getting a bunch of brain fog lately, but basically, um, that's pretty much it, right? And this will stay in the house, like I said, under lights. Um, we're gonna fit as many of them in here as I can, and that'll be it. Um, yeah, oh, the soil doesn't really matter, I guess. We just want it to be well-draining. It sucks that I don't have some fresh soil, but this is great. This is just fine. This stuff here is really nutritious. This is the Just Natural potting soil mixed in with a whole bunch of amendments. We have things in here like uh, diatomaceous earth and lime, all kinds of things that I've put on top of this bed to try to make this more nutritious. But in the end, we're getting rid of this bed and we're gonna move the soil in every direction and create a nice little natural berm. We're taking off the sides of this raised bed. So this soil has to go somewhere. And you can see here, we've already done this. Right, we've already taken off this side of the raised bed and I've been slowly taking away soil. Again, because we just can't find soil right now. So why not just use some things from the garden that already exist anyway? Okay, so that is the video, guys. Just transplanting tomatoes.